Carol House 2014 Canadian slasher film. Uh, the movie starts with a, a chubby boy <laughs> running away from two girls and when the two girls meet with the boy or catch up to the boy they uh, ask him if he kissed anyone and one of the girls does, does like this uh, shows him how to kiss and then they pull his pants down and make fun of make fun of him and then the second girl who the, she's the only one talking played by Cameron Cameron Picandova from uh, Gotham Catwoman and he, she says to the boy that if he shows his penis she will show her lady parts and she teases the guy a little bit and the, then the boy you know he pulls down his pants and they start <laughs> laughing at him and making fun of his, uh, fun of his penis and of course this boy is embarrassed and then later on uh, the girl Cameron Cameron Bikendova's character she hasn't given a name she goes pipe riding and the boy she has uh, he has a stick and puts between the uh, between the wheel things and she falls over and he kills her making it look like an accident and then it uh, the movie starts out in 1988, then it's fast forward, fast forward to present day, where we meet this uh, college girl, played by Ali Cobrin as Kylie Atkins. And uh, she has lost her, his, uh, her father, and uh, her mother doesn't really have the money to pay for her college, so she decides to go this... Uh, mansion where well basically it's a porn, porn site so the girls live in a big mansion and they do stuff on camera it's it's it is a real secret place with good security the boy from the early on who ki killed Cameron's character uh, Cameron teases her as a lover boy so he uses that as his nickname on uh, girl house website and then he's some kind of computer uh, genius even though he doesn't really look like one and uh, he begins to like this Kylie uh, character and he manages to hack their system and send her his picture and then one of the girls who live in the house uh, sees the picture and puts it on the wall and something about uh, lover boy. So when the lover boy asks where's Kylie when she's out, uh, some of the uh, women in the girl house start to make fun of him and then uh, he loses it and goes on a uh, killing spree and that's the movie there so it's a slasher film so you know it's gonna have a lot of gore and it, it's a it's a part slasher movie but then it's also almost like a romantic movie as well because uh, uh, Kylie starts I don't know guys get they are dash she's seeing a guy from you know her high school and they have known each other for years since kindergarten so they start to see each other so that's the whole romantic side plot as well when a lover boy goes on his killing spree he has this mask of a woman with long black hair and then he has some overalls and he just has some pipe in his hand so there are horror cliches in this movie. And the thing about Lover Boy is when the 
girls make fun of her uh, when the girls make fun of him he hears the first girls Cameron Picandova's character's voice in his head so he was really traumatized by oh, that childhood experience in 1988 so basically this movie is uh, part slasher film part porn movie and uh, slash romantic comedy no well romantic comedy actually i didn't know that it was gonna be part porn movie because i, I only saw that uh, i i seen the cameron pigandova's killing scene on youtube and then i googled uh girl ha girl house and i just saw that it's a slasher movie so i know i thought that why not watch it? There is a character uh, who is this uh, Ben Stanley's roommate and he has some good lines <laughs> like I'm not gonna watch I, I, I'm not gonna go to a porn site ever again uh, I'm gonna need therapy and stuff like that so it, it has good characters uh, good plots Decent uh, for at least for a slasher movie. So I'm gonna give uh, Girl House a s 7 out of 10. Nothing too special, but it was a good, good movie. It had a lot of the horror movie cliches, but, but you know, you can't watch a horror movie without some, some cliches, so. Definitely worth worth watching if you are a fan of slasher movies. Thanks for watching. Bye.